A distant, icy region of our solar system hosts billions and billions of comets. There are likely so many that we can't see them all. Astronomers and scientists have been intrigued by this remote region, called the Keeper Belt, for over two decades, because it is a realm full of mysteries. The Keeper Belt, a circumstellar disk outside of Neptune's orbit that holds unstudied remnants from the formation and early evolution of the Sun system. Here, we take a deep dive into the Keeper Belt, what it was called, how exactly its discovery shed light on our solar system. The Keeper Belt extends from about 30 to 55 astronomical units, AU, away from the Sun. For any twink, that's 1 AU 10 billion chem, or almost exactly the distance from Earth to Sun. The Keeper Belt is a region of our solar system full of crowded inhabitants, small, icy objects known in general as dwarf planets, such as Pluto, comets, and other frozen bodies. While the asteroid belt is a relatively flat disk between Mars and Jupiter, the Keeper Belt lies more within an equatorial plane of our solar system. Imagine it as merely trying to upend its donut hole sunward. The Keeper Belt was originally hypothesized in the middle of the 20th century, based on the observance earlier that there were leftover comets beyond Neptune. The belt was discovered in 1992 and is named after Dutch-American astronomer Gerard Keeper, who first suggested the existence of a disk made up mostly by icy bodies beyond Neptune's orbit in 1951. The first observational confirmation of the existence of the Keeper belt was in 1992. A small icy body was spotted by astronomers David Jewett and Jane Liu that is the first to be seen beyond Neptune, 1992 Cubo. The long-sought discovery of this apparently simple molecule is a landmark in our understanding of the more exotic molecules residing within such places. The Keeper Belt is of great interest to astronomers and planetary scientists. Like a time capsule older than our solar system itself, it contains original material predating the other explosions and emanations making up our part of space. Studying Kibos can reveal important clues about how planets form and the processes that shape our solar system, maintained lead author Amanda Zangari of the Southwest Research Institute, SRI, in Boulder. Additionally, it provides a natural laboratory to study the properties of icy bodies and for broader application in understanding how small-sized materials act with larger-scale planetary objects. Specifically, the Keeper Belt is past Neptune's orbit Neptune, was long thought to be the farthest known planet from our Sun. The inner edge is about 30 A, you just outside the orbit of Neptune, and extends out to around 55 AU. And beyond the Keeper Belt, there are even more distant region of icy bodies as well. What is collectively referred to as a scattered disk and, hypothetical, Oort cloud, which would be an up to spherical shell surrounding solar system. The Keeper Belt is a region in reality approximately 25 AU large. The asteroid belt is very flat and confined. These objects are more tightly packed than the Keeper Belt, which has a complex shape like Taurus. There are thought to be hundreds of thousands of objects, bigger than 100 kilometers in size, and many more tiny remnants. The thickness, or bimodal distribution of the belt around, and perpendicular to its equatorial plane, is important too. Material orbits on a range in inclination from above the ecliptic, the imaginary yet physical plane defined by most planets and objects orbiting our Sun. Indeed, the Keeper Belt is very much like the asteroid belt in that it consists of many small bodies, yet significantly different at last. Asteroid Belt, a region of space between Mars and Jupiter that contains many rocky metallic objects, like asteroids. Keeper Belt, a large belt outside the orbit of Neptune where ices such as water ice, ammonia ice, methane ice are plentiful. The Oort cloud, however, is a remote spherical shell that lies the encircling solar system and which is believed to be composed of long-period comets. Discovered in the early 1990s, 
Keeper belt objects are easier to study because they can be seen from Earth, whereas it is unlikely that any object surviving from solar formation in the Oort cloud would come close enough to be observed by people alive today. So, Keeper belt contains a variety of celestial bodies. Notable examples of them include the dwarf planets Pluto, Eris, Haumea, and Makemake. The five dwarf planets are comparable in size to the classical planets, but they do not dominate their orbits. The Keeper Belt also contains many icy bodies in addition to dwarf planets that are smaller these objects, all made of various ices, besides methane together with rock and dust, despite it being called ice, known by the collective term goes. They can be anywhere from tiny pebble-sized nuggets, a few millimeters in diameter, pebble ice particles d equals 1m to bodies hundreds of kilometers across. Goss include a wide range of sizes, from small icy rocks, only about 2 chem across to planet-sized bodies like Pluto and Eris. Most gabos are composed largely of ices, water ice in particular, with methane and ammonia as minor constituents. Goes are a complex mixture of ices and rocky material. Bows can have highly reflective surfaces, possibly due to the presence of exposed ices like methane, shore, or nitrogen, new to, but are often covered in a dull black tholin, sometimes attributed to upwelling from their interiors superposing fresh impact craters. Some bows have been given particular attention as they are unusual in terms of what we can learn about the Keeper Belt from them. The well-known ninth planet of our solar system, Pluto, is now classified as a dwarf planet and one of the most famous Kibos. The New Horizons mission also unveiled a complex surface with wide nitrogen ices, plains and mountain ranges made of frozen water, a KBO called Eris, which is more massive and only slightly smaller than Pluto in size but still significantly larger than any asteroid, prompted the International Astronomical Union voting to redefine Pluton as a dwarf planet. Other important Keeper Belt objects include Haumea, an elongated object that rapidly rotates and make make a bright icy world. The history of the solar system is intimately connected with the formation and current structure of the Keeper Belt. One theory proposes that the objects in the Keeper Belt are remnants from this primordial solar nebula, a general term for an enormous interstellar cloud of gas and dust from which our Sun and its planets formed. The outer regions, and by extension, US in the inner region, accounted for much of most dense rocky mass with some frozen material during the first steps of planet building. These materials began to combine and formed a disk of small bodies, which later on evolved into the Keeper Belt. An alternate hypothesis is demonstrated by the view that as a young solar system, it was dynamically hot and collectively both larger than today's belt, but also measurable changes in size occurred because of residual giant planetesimals thrown out towards empty space, such objects come into Triton, like capture resonance orbits around Neptune. During the billions of years since it formed, Keeper Belt has changed a great deal. Gravitational interactions with the giant planets, especially Neptune, have been evaluated as a primary force influencing its history and current state. Others are thought to have been ejected from the vicinity of Neptune, where they formed a separate population called the Scattered Disk. Gobos have also often collided with each other, fragmenting and producing smaller objects. While all these processes have jumbled things a bit, the Keeper Belt is by and large a stable repository of icy bodies that has retained pieces from very early in solar system history. The Keeper Belt may have been an important part of the calcification process in our solar system's past. If this was true during the age of planetary migration, when the giant planets were moving over place and knocking younger members out in seemingly random directions for hundreds to thousands, or even millions of years, these interactions with the chaotic Keeper Belt could have helped foster the exchange demonstrated here. 
and many of these volunteer could well have come from the Keeper Belt, some theories propose. Indirectly, the Keeper Belt may have shaped giant planets via gravitational interactions and collisions to form and evolve shinier giants than our Jovian jugglers. Our understanding of the Keeper Belt has been significantly expanded by a handful of key scientific missions. The remainder might just start with one of the most important ENASA's landmark New Horizons mission that launched in 2006. New Horizons took a historic voyage to Pluto, almost 10 years in the making and reaching its climax, with an encounter viewing ever before seen up close images of this far-off world and its moons, when it raced past on 14 July 2015. In January 2019, New Horizons performed a flyby of Ultima Thule in the Keeper Belt, and its extended mission includes flying by at least one more small KBO. Together, these missions have provided us with never-before-seen data on the features and nature of Gibos. Data from New Horizons and other missions have helped to unlock many key findings concerning the Keeper Belt. Detailed images of Pluto delivered by New Horizon flyby on July 14 is showing a geologically active world with vast layering features that overturns assumption about the behavior and capacity of small distant body speed bait. The flyby of Arakoth offered rare insight into the formation processes for binary K bows as well as surface shaping activity. All of these findings have broad implications for the scope and character of the Keeper Belt as well as on dynamics across other locales in our outer solar system. But for now, the era of Keeper Belt exploration is alive and well. Planned future missions will delve further into this remote area. There are also proposed missions that aim to, eventually, leave the Keeper Belt behind and study our heliosphere by directly exploring this boundary region between the solar system and interstellar space such as with an interstellar probe. New Horizons will continue to provide data on Kibos over the next few months and continued telescopic observations by currently operating observatories and upcoming ones like the James Webb Space Telescope are contributing invaluable information with every observation. These measures will further our comprehension of the Keeper Belt and its contribution to the solar system. The Keeper Belt interacts with other solar system bodies in a few different ways. The orbits and slash or these factors alone allow the Imagir to explain Kibos. U Keeper Belt objects are heavily influenced by large perturbations from giant planets, especially Neptune and Pluto. Neptune is associated with the formation and composition of some Kibos and scattered disk objects as it perturbs their orbits. Such collisions and exchanges of material can also generate KBO compositions that influence its characteristics due to interactions with other bodies in this both or simply hitting each other. This region is a principal reservoir of short period comets that often have orbits which bring them close to the Sun within relatively small periods. Such comets are believed to have originated in the Keeper Belt and been gravitationally influenced by interactions with the giant planets into an orbit that brings them through the inner solar system. Sublimation of ices in comet nuclei releases dust, gas and ionized particles into space forming the coma and tail as comets approach the Sun. Looking at the comets gives us an excellent window into what kinds of things are and may be occurring in those harder to study cabos one way or another, the Keeper Belt might loom large over our planet. Keeper Belt objects collide with each other, which generates fragments that travel to the inner solar system as meteoroids or comets. A few of these objects are considered potentially hazardous asteroids, phase as well. Therefore, identifying the dynamics and properties of this region can assist in appraising Zeth the risk that these distant objects will cause. This article has explored what the Keeper Belt is, its historical context and discovery, where it can be found in space image above, structure, version at right, composition, 
and how this disk of objects beyond Pluto could ultimately play a key part with regard to our understanding about how planetary systems are formed. It is clear Keeper Belt contains a variety of objects, dwarf planets and comets as well. We have reviewed some different types Kuiper Belt formation model. This includes scientific missions and key finds that help us learn more about this distant realm. The Keeper Belt still offers a new frontier for exploration. Unfortunately, much work remains to be done in exploring and understanding this region if we hope to piece together the profound secrets of our solar system's early days. As more missions and observations occur in the future, they will undoubtedly give rise to new insights as well as challenges that build on our increasing understanding of the universe. It is an essential part of the story in our quest to understand the formation and evolution process that led their formation Bail system as we know it today. Understanding the Keeper Belt helps us to learn more about how our planetary system formed and evolved, as well as what interactions have occurred among its members. The importance of the Keeper Belt goes far beyond its locality, affecting our perception of other solar systems and even our understanding of what lies out in the cosmos.